it is confirmed Rusty is more thick, more hung. Well endowed to will they take bath together. One is in the top bunk, one is in the bottom bunk. Can you figure it out? Who's fucking who? Now, um, the important stuff is that Will has been recruited for like the all-star party. Liliana sees the potential in Will and we're going through this praxis, which is some sort of dungeon exploration event. And we want to get like lower floors is finally an unlock, meaning like they're really hard stuff to do. It's kind of funny how Colette just like tags along with us and I'm like, you know what? Yeah, she can just do that, right? It's not like we can't just go together. So Colette's along with the ride. But at the end, there's some very interesting thing happening. There is a guy that there's like there's like two people, right? One's a headless dude and one's a real dude. I think the headless dude was being controlled by the real dude and he was talking about some sort of like boss to retrieve a certain thing. There's like some object, some treasure that they're trying to retrieve and it's just in time with the Praxis and the 10th floor teacher, the referee guy, already killed off. We should probably meet him today. Well, are we going to defeat him? Are we going to get humbled? Let's begin today's reaction. Carriot. Taida. Uh, slothful. Lightning is self-indulgent. The elves are arrogant. The elves are very arrogant, but who is this dude? Is this like the emperor, the king of this place? Like, wait, 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 wait. Lord Carriot. Logwell. Hmm. Temporary though. So he's a, he's a temporary ruler of Westoria, Wand and Fire? What the, what the fuck is going on? The Flame Emperor's one in Sidia, Barham. Oh, it's this dude again! Last time we, we saw this guy and he was the one that like diffused the situation between uh, Wind Girl and Lightning Guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the one that was a closed, closed eyes, just like arms crossed that diffused the situation. At that point, I was like, oh, this guy must be like, you know, the big boss around these different Magia vendors, but... Kariot Incendia Wise Man. Light Sovereign's on a campaign. And then the Celestial Host is gonna attack beyond us, right? No opening. Oh. Speed boost. Look at that! Oh, yo! Who remembers solo leveling? Remember, guys? Like, nine, nine months ago. Remember the ant shit? Like, uh-oh. Oh. No. Night family, right? Thank you. There's literally no reason in this camera frame, but it's like, all right, this scene was important, right? The arm turned into a lightning play, but it's like, thighs, thighs, thighs. <laughs> Thunder thighs. Enchanting her one. Wow. The attention to detail right over here. This single cheek. Peeking that single cheek is top tier fan service. Just giving us a little bit. You know, leave more for the imagination. Just a little bit. Yeah, let me handle it. Come on, let's go. Damn. So far, it felt like Will was showing up everyone else with this like you know, fast movement, the physical uh, stuff that he could do. Right now, we just kind of got humbled, huh? We tried to go fast, Wignall boosted us, we landed on our face. Little Liana, Liana just like clutch for us, like, damn, I, I see it, I see it. Uh, search. Yeah. And we just happen to have a familiar that can just do all of that, right? Literally, Kiki will tell you that way. That way. No, no, no. Let's go that way. 
基礎にして極意だ邪魔だ落ちこぼれ Will is actually in the way Right now he is out of his element Like everyone, everyone else is just kind of flexing Hmm. We have, and if Kiki isn't here, he can't search. Damn. Is he a shield? I feel like these dudes are good at PVE AoE clearing mobs, but in like a boss battle, 1v1 specialist, Will would do way better. No, 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 no. I genuinely feel like these dudes are just clearing trash mobs AoE way more efficiently than us. Fair. You got the search magic. But, like, when it comes to 1v1 specialist shit, boss lane, like, nah, man. Will's way better. True. Probably. Probably. Because of the Hatsu. I'm not sure if I'm not Oh, Lord. Oh, that's a convenient way to track different things to reward the students properly, but what about us? We have to carry limb by limb? <laughs> we, we gotta, oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought it's just for Will, and they're like, no, we don't have to do that shit because we can suck with the wands. No, we don't care about the drops here, right? We're, we're trying to just clear as fast as we can. <laughs> Let's go. Will has to like collect it. Like, this is probably how it's gonna go down, right? The more cliche shit is, oh, mages are powerful, big AoE clear, Will looks bad against trash mobs. The real boss villain shows up. Everyone sucks. Will wins. Everyone's because, oh my god, this laggard is so powerful. It's just gonna be like that, right? Who cares about these mobs, man? They're trash fodder mobs. Everything. This looks like a boss team. Oh, we got fire magic? So, I think it's a boss team. 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 I think it's Leave it on the ground. Ew. Disgusting. Ew. Don't touch that shit, bro. Ew. <laughs> Elves are so arrogant and prideful, huh? I mean, it said in the beginning, right? That uh, the Flame Emperor guy was giving characteristics of each, you know, element factions, but damn, bro. Hmm. But he does acknowledge Liana because she's rank one. But if Wignall wasn't, you know, uh, beneath Liana, I bet he too would then see Liana as just like another monkey, right? <laughs> He's like, yep, humans, bro. You're all just shitty mages, and I'm an elf. You know, be a fun experiment. Drop him in the world of ReZero after the events of the Great Calamity. See how he likes it there, bro. Yeah. I love to see him just, just devil, just throwing tomato. Everyone's like throwing tomato. <laughs> Get out of here. Inda, elf is culture and attitude are different. I'm okay. Isekai characters, right? Isekai characters. Yep. Sonsun no taisho ni aru maho shizoku. Shiki ga takaku, hana mochi nara nai. Keredo, sono saino no oku wa meiji ni mo kumi suru. The wind elf, maga vendor. Elf no ojo. The elf queen, damn. Three-headed dog. 
実習の中でも最大単位ワルクレディッツ奴に挑んでいなく総合実習のボスだうーん Just because we saw that guy at the last episode I feel like these monsters don't matter I feel like the true final boss is the agent sent in last episode at the end ナベルスを撃つためと言っていい単位数百十を倒す程度の実力は乗りかかった船だ途中で降りるつもりはないさただ全世界魔力を温存した万全の状態で挑みたい他のモンスターはその後だ最短距離で十層へ向かう、okay. 僕が今日得られたのはたったの五単位ロアキーパーの討伐怖くないって言ったら嘘になるけど言ってくるおい何やってんだ首なし The villains again. 上の連中はブック<笑> He's headless too I guess Mr. Headless thing is making other people also headless so he doesn't get lonely And this is I believe the referee right? This guy is the teacher that was positioned at the 10th floor That got taken out last episode at the post credit scenes Oh It's just like Skimichi Moon Fantasy Makoto can't, you know, talk the language, so he has to write shit. Yeah. Alright. V. So Headless is an independent other person. I thought that this is some sort of like monster controlled by whoever this guy is in front of us, but alright. <laughs> kinda cute. <laughs> Got a little emote, you know, that was kinda cute. What's this? メースキャンプも寄らずに最短ルートでここまで見ているはずがない。何をしてるの？ナベルスが出現するルームは。What if we get there and ナベルスが出現するルームは。What 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 if we get there and ナベルスが出現する Apprehensive about? No, 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 no. It's actually the other dudes, and it's even crazier that, like, damn, like, you know, the Nabudus has been down by these dudes. How strong are they? Dungeon got us so many tiny shits, Marie Cotter. Uh oh. Yup. Nabudus done. Uh -oh. I kind of want to see Wigdal humbled though. I, I kind of want to see this guy just get clapped. Ignore it! What is this thing? What the fuck are we fighting right now? Is a whole ass dragon? What, is, what the hell is this thing? Wignall's AFK. No. It would be very rude to touch him. If you have any respect for the elf culture, just let him die, bro. He, if he was conscious, I bet he'd say, yeah, don't touch me, bro. Just let me die with my elf honor. I don't want a dirty human touching me. Rusty. That. Where are we? Ew. <laughs> All right, he saved Wigno. Below ten? Yo, the, the the area, the environment, the walls, the structures—it's looking really fucking creepy. Like, I don't know. This is this is below ten. So is this like Danmachi shit? Remember season four? We thought that we fell below, but it's just like no. How far do we actually go? Wait. This is the author of Damachi. And Black Clover shit, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Of course it does. 
Julius and Shion have a drop? No, they have drops. Tower territory. Only high mages are allowed to set foot down in this treacherous... I don't know what a high mage is, but they're a high mage. We're on 11 and below. Okay, we're the lower floors. Liana? Colette? The Nightmare's Mom. Yo, the soundtrack. They're hyping this place up. Uh oh. Dude, even Liana's panicking. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some lore. The Great Barrier. If it goes, we're all goners. That's how important it is. The words of a certain dwarf. I wonder who said that, but yeah. This barrier is the thing. Like, the sky is fake, right? There's this barrier held up by the Magia Avengers because beyond this barrier, some sort of like celestial host being is gonna like attack us. And unless we can procure more strong mages, we're cooked. Wignal. Wignal Lindor, race elf, age 75. As mages go, roughly 15. Okay. Height, 176 centimeters. So he's like 5'9, like 5'8. Birthday, first of Az Arzal Moon. Likes. The collection of elven legends he used to read together with his milk siblings? What the hell is a milk sibling? The herbal tea from the elite tea house Liana introduced him to. Okay. With his milk si- Oh. The, the siblings are tea. <laughs> the milk siblings, the herbal tea from the elite tea house Liana introduced him to. I'm like, does he have friends? No, no, no. He's, he's, he's just reading it with his tea. Night? Uh... uh Dislikes dwarves in general, wants to protect Eleanor Leos Alf. I think this is the Elven Queen, probably. Deepest dungeon floor reached, 11th now, yeah. Equipment, green seed wand, skills. Uh, spells primarily focused on wind illusion magic. An elf who hails from the Alf's Wood, far to the north, came to the capital of magic, Urbis Regarden, to study. He holds fast to Elven customs and does not allow anyone he does not deem worthy to touch him. He shares the same dream as a certain no talent like us. And what is our dream? Our dream is to go meet Elfie. So I guess his dream is to go meet the Elf Queen. Both are simping and wants to see the Magia Vendor girls of their own factions. Okay, okay, okay. Backstory? Damn, was he a failure? Did the Elf? Wignall passed. The queen herself expelled him? Yo, the, the way that the elves are drawn with these like black lines makes us seem even more like hostile and ominous, right? Look at this shit, man. So it's looking like Wignall is like a failure. <laughs> Arm. What the fuck? These elves are insane. Wait. You cut off a kid's arm to prove a point? What the hell is going on with the elves? The arm. I mean, he has his arm back. He's, he's wounded in that arm. I wonder how he got it back, but... Bro, he should be thanking Will right now for saving his ass. Don't you dare touch me. Ugh. That's true. Then do it. ドギョを出せ。イグノールは不詳。荷物も一部の医療道具を除いて、マジックアイテムも含めて、サブウェポンは都合さん。オッケー。食料と水は残ってるしている no one's gonna save us here, bro. Yup. 
あの怪物が10層に見かけるた。救援は遅れると思う。Like, was that a local monster? For whatever reason, it feels like this shouldn't be here. Like, was it released by the other evil faction people here with Headless? Because, like, this thing, like, is it even stronger than the Nabarus, which was the floor dungeon boss? I don't know, but, like, this dude showed up out of nowhere and cooked us. <laughs> They dead. Oh. Headless. He really likes to make art. Huh? Like, it's not enough to just be headless. He is actually crucifying people. Holy. It's a work of art. It's like a sacrifice ritual. Something is up, man. Oh, Edward's coming in. Oh, see? He's such a good teacher. He cares about his students. Now, if we told him, yeah, Will's involved, would he be like, mm, I don't, don't want to save his ass, but I think he truly does care. He's like a colleague. From Welcome to Dima School, Iruma kun, right? Super sundere. Always acts like he hates his students, but he's a super softy inside, right? So, what is going on here? Head, we, so, let's try to make some connections. We have Headless and the blonde dude, right? I don't know what they're about. We have a separate monster I feel like isn't even from Floor 10. Now, we know that there is basically magic people here and we're trying to make magia vendors to fight against the celestial host is it possible that like celestial host factions have already like invaded within and like the headless and the other dude are like part of that faction like what group are they from are they just like an outlaw mage group that we didn't even know existed are they people from within the dungeon like for example are they from the deeper lair and the monster that we saw on the 10th floor is something they brought up together I don't know, something is definitely off here. Wait, what is going on? What is going on? The Wagner! The Wagner! The Wagner! The Wagner! The Wagner! The Wagner! We? Hi! We? Alright. Rusty? No. Kiki, what should we do? Search. Search is going to be able to get the search. As long as common magic is. Silence! <laughs> then I'll save your ass and you're gonna be useless. That's what's gonna happen. Will is very composed. Got it. Yo, so efficient. ああ。<笑> Big boys. Big pig monsters. He only has one. Okay. 1v2. I think he's glazing. Slowly but surely. 
He gonna let us touch him. The respect, bro. The glaze, bro. Yeah, what have you done, bro? Why? <gasps> what the hell? So, so in the past, her and the elf, him and the elf queen were friends. But like in the flashback where she cut his arm off, it looked like she looked way older. But maybe it was like the makeup and stuff. I don't know. But it's looking like they were childhood friends, huh? Elfie and Will, childhood friends. Him and her, childhood friends. There's parallels. The intermission scene told us that Wignall is climbing. He has the same dreams, basically, like Will. It's just his girl just turned out to be an evil bitch, and ours is just a cute girl. <laughs> Ooh, clutch. Hi, hi. Damn, Will, you're so cool. Ah, I see, I see. They rely on smell. It's going crazy. Uh oh. Oh. Hey! Welcome to the club, man! We're a lagger too! You and I! We're two sides of the same coin. Now, I wonder exactly, like, like, he was like thrown away by his like elf clan, remember? Because he was apparently like useless. But a useless guy is like rank two at the school. Maybe two elf standards, that's not good enough, but interesting. Is there a post? Oh, Jesus, Elfie. Jesus, Elfie, oh my God. <laughs> Elfie. Relax, like, okay, that's the episode today. So, what is happening? Well, the Praxis is under its way, and we thought that, like, the goal, the end goal, was to kill the Nabera thing, the three-headed dog, Cerberus-looking monster, and the tower will recognize us, right? Good credits. Nah, not even close. There's a different monster that shows up from the roof, which I assume is a lower dungeon beast brought in by Headless and his friend. And now we're just sank below the deeper layers. Like this is looking nightmarish. This is like no joke. I think the difficulty level has gone from like my interpretation of this is like the difficulty level as we descend to uh, lower floors up till 10 is like linear. And as soon as we hit like 11 and beyond, it's just like the difficulty is like the spiking. It's just like, uh oh, uh oh, shit's getting fucked now. Everyone is separated. Liana Colette, Shion Julius, and us and Wignall. Us and Wignall. We have a lot of things in con common, huh? Both chasing after elf childhood friend, both Magia vendors, but he had the bad ending. We had the good ending, and I think he's already been corrected. He sees his lack of confidence, knowledge, battle senses, but Will is out here saving his ass, so I feel like this could be like a beautiful friendship in the, in the making. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time... Take care.